Have you ever wondered why a soccer ball is made with hexagons and pentagons? It's a question that transcends borders, cultures, and languages, much like the game of soccer itself. This sport, loved by millions around the world, is more than just kicking a ball. It's a testament to the beauty of geometric design. Yes, geometry. That branch of mathematics that you may have thought you left behind in high school. It's all around us, especially in sports. The soccer ball, with its unique pattern of hexagons and pentagons, is a perfect example. But why this configuration? Well, the answer lies in the mathematical principle known as the truncated icosahedron. It's a shape that allows for a nearly spherical structure while using flat panels. This design provides a balance between symmetry, efficiency, and functionality. So the next time you see a soccer ball, remember, it's not just a ball, it's a perfect example of geometry in action. But why hexagons and pentagons? Why not triangles or squares? Well, to answer that we need to dive into the world of geometry, physics and the beautiful game itself. It all starts with the concept of a sphere. In nature, spheres are considered the most efficient shape. They have the smallest surface area relative to their volume, meaning they can hold more with less. In sports, they're perfect for ball games because they roll and bounce uniformly in every direction. However, a perfect sphere is tough to manufacture, especially when we're talking about something that needs to be durable, like a soccer ball. This is where the hexagons and pentagons come into play. When combined in a certain way, hexagons and pentagons form a shape known as a truncated icosahedron. Now that's a mouthful, but it's simply a three-dimensional shape with 20 hexagons and 12 pentagons. This shape closely resembles a sphere, but is much easier to manufacture. More importantly, it creates a structure that's both strong and flexible, which is crucial for a game that involves a lot of kicking and heading. The hexagons provide the structure. With their six sides, they distribute force evenly, which helps the ball retain its shape after being kicked. On the other hand, the pentagons allow for a bit of give. They have fewer sides, which means they can flex under pressure, creating that satisfying bounce when the ball hits the ground or comes off a player's foot. Together, the hexagons and pentagons create a balance, a harmony if you will, between structure and bounce. They allow the soccer ball to withstand the rigors of the game while still providing the right amount of bounce and roll. So the hexagons and pentagons aren't just for show, they make the soccer ball the perfect tool for the beautiful game. So, to recap, why is a soccer ball designed with hexagons and pentagons? Well, we've learned that it all comes down to geometry. The soccer ball's unique design of 20 regular hexagons and 12 regular pentagons forms a shape known as a truncated icosahedron. This shape is a three-dimensional figure with 32 faces, 60 edges, and 12 vertices. This geometry is not just for aesthetics, it plays a crucial role in how the ball behaves during a game. The truncated icosahedron shape allows the ball to be perfectly round and maintain a consistent bounce and flight path. This predictability is vital in a game where precision and control are key. Remember the design of the soccer ball is a perfect blend of geometry and physics, working together to create a piece of sports equipment that is both functional and beautiful. So next time you kick a soccer ball, remember, you're not just playing a game, you're participating in a beautiful symphony of geometry and physics.